what would be the risk to the donors? Because a, a few things, no? sabi mo, kailangan two weeks, um, you're clear, two weeks, healthy, no problems. Uh, what what about mga relapse? Uh, hmm. Because, you know, I may have the antibodies, but that also means that I need antibodies. Baka pag nag-donate ako, ako naman ang maubusan. Uh, I mean, that's the usual question, you know. Uh, will donating my blood plasma with the antibodies put me at risk, especially now that there's talk about relapse in, in South Korea? Okay. All right. Uh, that's a very good point. Uh, first of all, let's clear up the relapse. Uh, um, yes, uh, there were some reports of the relapse that Koreans were saying. <clears throat> it's not very clear, really, if those patients in the first place uh, fully recovered, okay? Because uh, the, 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 the way that it was written was they were about to be discharged. They actually tested. They had a negative test. Mm -hmm. And then just before discharge, they repeated the test. And lo and behold, they became positive. Mm -hmm. So now people are thinking, is this a reinfection or a relapse? Now, the difference with relapse po is parang may sakit ka, bigla kang nabinat. Hindi ka pa talaga magaling. Okay. Yung, oh. reinfe yung reinfection, gumaling ka na, tapos may bago na naman dumating na mikrobyo, nagkasakit ka na naman. No? Okay. Uh, I think uh, from what we were reading, it doesn't seem to be a reinfection. Because uh -huh. we, would, we would like to believe that once you recovered from the, uh, fully recovered from the disease, from COVID-19, you are uh, uh, protected. But obviously, uh, we st we're still... Uh, trying to look at these patients. But at least for the Korean patients, we're not sure. The other, other issue also sometimes, uh, Sito, is this false negative test. No? Um, yes. Because I just realized uh, na, it also depends on how the sample was taken. No? It's a nasopharyngeal or oropharyngeal swab. Okay. Some, may ipapasok na swab stick sa ilong mo. Dapat oh. sa likod. Umabot dun sa likod ng, you know, talagang dapat masaktan ka eh, no? Uh -huh. But sometimes, uh, siguro sa pag-iingat o hindi masyadong magaling yung kumukuha, they do not get the, uh, the proper specimen. Mm -hmm. And so when that is run in the lab, it will yield negative results because they were not able to get enough of the specimen or the right specimen. So okay. here you are thinking that you have a negative test and then uh, a repeat will yield a positive. So that negative might be a false negative. And that's the reason why I tell you that we're not only into the test of being negative, but we also would like to examine the patient, making sure that they are symptom-free on our examination, on our evaluation, they are fully recovered. So that, that's something we really need to be sure that uh, we are sending a donor who is really... Uh, who has survival has fully recovered from COVID-19.